Let's see. Okay. I didn't want to come on during the eclipse because I didn't want you to come here and see nothing. What we got, and we're still in it, it looks like it's um, like before sundown when it starts to get a little dark. That's all we got. It was more of a, actually the colors were enriched. It looked really good. I know you're all probably watching what's going on. I will show you. You can see the eclipse this way. This I learned this when I was in school and you can see, just took a piece of paper. Let's walk over here and let's see if you can see that. I wish Gary was here to hold it. Can you see that? That is our eclipse. Let's see, I've got to get it just right. You can see it. We're all already coming. Zoe, you've been standing in front of it every time I've been trying to do it. I don't know if you can zoom in and see the crescent. Zoe, Zoe, move over. She's, but that's our eclipse. I've been watching it through, move Zoe, through this. Let me sit this down. This is Gary's welding hat. You don't need to be facing the sun. Hold on. I'm, just, I'm having a cup of coffee out on the deck. So let me see. Uh, I've been watching it through a welding hat and I did get a photo. I did get a photo of it. We didn't get much. We got, like it is now, it's kind of a darky, like it's kind of a light cloud. I've been watching TV. That's where you should be. If you want to see good stuff, you watch it on TV. This is what I got, if you can see it. It's a reflection. I don't know if I can get that. Can I turn this? No, I can turn it. Okay. And that was through Gary's welding hat. He said, this is safe. Just don't stare at it too long. No, I didn't. And that's pretty much it. I think it was about a third gone. So that's what we got here. I'm just having coffee and I'm boring you. That's like I said, I didn't want to come on and stop you from watching it on TV. Though it's going across the United States and I guess it's at different times. It's going to go black. They showed it in Mexico. You were sitting in complete darkness. It got quiet here. I will say that there were a lot of hummingbirds and then all of a sudden they disappear. They're still here. Just, oh, now he's going to get scared and take off. No, he's not. Um, it got a little quiet, but it wasn't really, it was more like sundown. And sundown, there's more birds than, than sometimes during the day. Mm. So, I'm going to the 99 cent store. <laughs> I decided, you know, those flower pots I bought, I love these. They had them for 70 cents, and I bought a whole bunch. And this is perfect to grow lettuce in and flowers. So they came out to be 70 cents. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm still watching the eclipse on TV. I think that's what Gary's doing. We were about a third. They gave the percentage and I don't remember the percentage. It started at approximately here, 1020. You didn't really notice anything at 1020. It peaked at 1112 Pacific Standard Time. And that's when everything got like cloudy. It was more like there was clouds. I can't see anything by the way, because of the glare. So I can't say anything to anybody. And then um, now it's still a little hazy. It's, it's not even haze. It's as if, it's not all the ravens. The ravens have been just flying and enjoying this for some reason. Maybe they like it where it's not so bright. It just kind of got dark, but everything was emphasized. The coloring of the plants looked more green. It was really, really nice. And now we're on our way out. I don't even know what time it is. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, it's a, we should be out of it, 11.35. And then it's gonna travel across different areas. So I don't want you wasting your time with me. I want you to turn on TV. I've been watching um, <clears throat> CBS, not for any particular reason. I kind of scrolled through real quick on YouTube and CBS came on and they had, they were taking, I think from Nassau and they were in Mexico right now. And then they're gonna move to different areas as the eclipse moves across the United States. So I turned that on. I was watching PBS earlier, they were doing it. So you, you don't wanna waste your time watching me. And that's it, but it did get quiet. There's not as many birds. Now the Orioles are coming in. So I've got quite a few Orioles down there. I don't know if you, can, well, you can't see it if you see me. Let's see, let's turn you around. Let me see if I can move back a little. But I figured, well, I'm semi-dressed. Maybe I'll go to the 99 cent store and see. I might go to a different one today. Is there, okay, let's not knock anybody off. That's 
my big thing. So my plans for this week, if all goes well, is I want to show you how I use kitty litter in the garden. Well, for starting seeds and plants and pots and all kinds of stuff. I love kitty litter. I need to get that video out on that clothes rack. Oh my gosh. The covers I have made for that takes minutes. They're so easy to make. I painted the bottom part brown, as you can see, so now it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb white. I'm also redoing the deck. I'm going to make uh, greenhouses out of clear totes so I can get my seeds now out of the house. I did a video that nobody's going to want to see because it's for my eyes only. It's kind of a crazy thing I do. I don't know if anybody's interested, in, but I prepped a tote in the garden yesterday and I threw a bunch of different seeds in there. Everything that I know that I can recognize when they come up. So when I'm ready, I run to that tote and I move things. Because if you know any of my videos, you know I can go pull out a foot long or foot tall zucchini and move it. And it does really well. Let me see if I can read anything out here. Isn't that something? The ravens are just going crazy. As soon as the eclipse started, they just started flying and screaming and flying in tandem. It was really beautiful. Let's see. I should get my tablet so I can read something. No, I can't see. Uh, there's a lot of you, like I said. Oh, I see Melinda Roth. Cloudy, thunder, rain here in Texas. We heard that. We heard a lot of people flew out there and then it was like, oops, what the ravens. Isn't that something? I may have to get my tablet and see what's going. I don't want you 30%. Let's see, they're 30% off. Oh, 30%, I thought you were talking about the eclipse. Yes, when I went the other day and I went live in there, it's a terrible view. Here, you can do this view. 30% was great, and it's 30% off of the garden supplies, homeware, and other things were 10%, but I, I definitely want to get more of these pots. They're just, like I said, I can grow lettuce in them and move them around. Don't let anybody tell you you can't grow lettuce in the summer. I grow lettuce in the summer. I know some of you have, shouldn't even talk about gardening right now. Some of you have said, oh, I was growing lettuce and it bolted and lettuce season must be over. No, it's a short lived plant. It's supposed to do that. Keep going. You can grow lettuce all year. I grow lettuce 12 months out of the year. I move it. I set it up the way I want so I can keep growing lettuce. Mm. Let me go grab my tablet. What I should do is set you over to see the hummingbirds. And there's not going to be a lot now. I know a lot, of, a lot of them disappeared when the eclipse started. And I'm going to go get my tablet. So maybe, I'm not mic'd or anything, so I won't be able to... Let's see, where would they go? This has been, this has been amazing. I can't believe how many birds have come to take a bath in there. And I told you all, don't set your fountain up next to the feeders. Let's see. Let's see if you can get a close glimpse of them. No, I, it would be wonderful if somebody came and took a bath, but I doubt it. Let me go get my tablet, and if you want, I can stay on for a few minutes, and I'll mic myself. Shh, there's nobody there. What do you see, Zoe? We do have a rabbit in the yard. Oh, no, it's the healers. Hey, what are you looking at? Ike? I don't know what he's looking at. Look at that. I don't know. Look at him. He hasn't moved. I don't know if you can see him. Let me see. He sees something. Hopefully it's a rabbit, not a coyote. Look at that. He's not moving. I don't know what that's all about. Looks like he's gonna leap. I don't know. Nope. Changing its mind. I don't know what was there. It's probably a rabbit. All right, let's see if you can get a glimpse of the hummingbird. See if I can zoom out a little bit. Wouldn't that be something if they came and took a bath right now? Okay, Zoe, you're annoying. Let me go get my tablet, see if there's any questions, and I'll be back in a few minutes. There's
anything here. I have a stomach. It's probably a rabbit. I don't know where you want me to put you. I'm going to try something. You're going to have to tell me if this is working or not. Because now I'm going to plug. Is, the, is this thing on? It says it's on. Let's see. Tell me. It, I got to find the plug. Are you kidding me? I put the wrong plug in. Hold on. Okay, I really need to move, move, move. You're going to trip me, and I'm not going to be happy if you do that. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's a person in the yard. If you can hear me. Somebody tell me I can't read it anyway, so. Um... I hear a train. Okay, let me try something. Hold on. This is gonna go quick and really loud. Oh gosh, sorry about that. I don't know what you wanna see. There's probably nothing to see when I answer some questions. Um, can I zoom out? No, I cannot zoom out. Can I, it's the best I can do. Not a good setup here. I'm working on it. I'll tell you what to do. Hold on. This is low. I can put that there. And for now, I can move that there. Let me see if you got questions, and then I'm going to go. I think I am going to go to the 99 cent store. Okay, let me go grab my tablet. Oh, I left it on the ground. That's a good place to leave a tablet on the ground with Zoe. All right, I'm going to sit back over here. I'll take a peek at your questions. First, I got to get my tablet on. Really, you should be watching the eclipse, not me. Okay. Oh, I've got dinging. Let me see who's dinging. Okay, so my family are all watching the eclipse and taking their own pictures. Oh, good. Red base is there. I've got a wrench in there. Perfect. Thank you, Red. I'm hoping you can hear me. Uh, coming in loud and clear. Probably too loud. Mike is working. Ben Dingo. Thank you. Another wrench. So let me see what's going on and what you can even see. Oh, that's nice. If I step in the house, no, I don't think I have to step in the house for the Orioles. All right, I'm not gonna stay on because you all should be watching the eclipse. How would you pronounce that? Ex in, in Linda? Excelinda? Excelinda. Excellent. Excellent. Hello, hello, dead doll, hello. Hiya, Augustine? Hello, Augustine? Slingshot, hello, trial and error. Hi, everybody. Catherine D. from Richmond, Virginia. Hello. Uh, Roxanne Hendrix from Michigan. Red Base. I'm here coming back from the store. Oh! Um, Pandora Fox, a member. Hello. Kimberly Barnett. It's raining here. We have, can you believe it's not raining here? They're, all the rain we've gotten. I think it's going to change the weather. And that's why I'm, I did that crazy thing of planting a bunch of seeds in one tote. It's to make my life easier. Let's see. Kate's Cottage. It's beautiful. I have glasses. We're not in control. Oh, look. See that? This is not what I wanted. Those are, that's a pair of house finches. They must have babies. They come all day for their sugar water. I could lower it a little bit and you can see them better. That bowl is from Dollar Tree. That's one of those slow eating bowls like you feed your dog and they don't gulp the food. And I looked at it. I do want to get another one. That's what I wanted to get at Dollar Tree the other day and I didn't stop. This way if a bird lands on top, they have those little perches. And 
they're not going to get in the nectar and there's nectar in there and it works. They land on top and they drink and the ones that mainly drink out of that are the Orioles and now the house finches, which is also sucking up a lot of sugar water. Uh, red base, 10 minutes. <laughs> take your time, take your time. Cheryl, uh, for, uh, Alford, um, Cheryl from North Carolina. You're st oh, you're still waiting for the eclipse? Uh, trial and error, they're 30% off. That's why I'm going to go back to, I know I saw this and I'm missing everybody. Let's kind of, Pamela from Buffalo, New York, too many clouds. Total should, okay, so you have it at 318, three. So that would be 1218 here. So that's interesting. So you're getting close. Oh, wow, you're going to be in darkness. Donna Taylor, hello. Tipping point has total eclipse here in Texas. Yeah, I know it went through there, Melinda. I stream, I've been watching TV, um, which is really a good place to see it. Robert Clooney, how are you doing? You asked me if you ever offended me. You did not. Never, never, never. I don't even know why you would ask me that. So you're, you're perfectly fine. Here's the prob problem, Robert. Your name comes up when I go live, and it clearly gives me your name that you opened your YouTube channel with. It says Robert Clooney. When you message me, I see that new handle name. I don't know why they changed it. But I'd only see these numbers, user number X, Y, something. And I think you end with a two Y, and that's how I know. And otherwise, I don't know. Your name's not there. So you really need to go in there and change it so I know it's you. Red Base is there all again. Hello, Red Base is saying hello to Melinda Roth. How are you? Thank you. Grace in the garden. I don't even know where Gary is. He was here a minute ago. I wish he would show up. Um, Tennessee Nana. Uh, lots of great clouds and wind. Doubt if we'll see the eclipse. Watch it on TV. That's the perfect place to watch it anyways. It's only four minutes. I mean, it's, it is an, an ex Oh, I wish I had the camera on this. The hummingbird is taking a bath. Okay, he left. Um, let's see, Robert, I want to thank Robbie and Gary for their support. With my four heart attacks and three sto strokes, I love you both. Please take care of yourself. Um, you sound like you're doing, you know, good, and that's the right direction to go in. And again, if you change your handle name or your username, then I'll recognize you. Even if you just try to change it a little by putting your name Bob in there, and then I'll know right away what it is. It's, I'm trying to remember you're the 2Y at the end. And the other one is Mark, who I don't see here. Mark also has a username now that... I only know it's him by his comments. <laughs> uh, let's see, Billy Jean UK. Because I'm in the UK, I've been watching it on NASA. Yeah, I was watching Channel 2 and they had NASA on it. That's a good place to watch it. Uh, YouTube channel, it's amazing. You're, oh, your YouTube, you, oh, your YouTube channel is amazing. You're so lucky, hugs. Uh, I thought you meant YouTube is amazing. There's no birds, I should move this one. There's a couple of them there. That's the butterfly. My daughter bought me that as a gift. You're supposed to fill it with seeds. I'm actually going to attach dots to that. I made a dot feeder yesterday, and I'm really excited with that. I might put the video up. I try to make sure that I record everything, even if it's just for me, and sometimes I throw it up and bore you all to death. I'm not sure what the messages are on top. Oh, my gosh! Heather Miller, $5? See, I don't know what that means sometimes. It's a sticker. Uh, I can't turn you around here. I'll, because I'm not near the phone. The phone's on the other side of the deck. Heather, thank you so much. That's so appreciated. And you know it's going for sugar. I've been buying sugar and having it shipped in from Texas. It's cheaper. And I, I don't know why. Somebody told me the company may be going out of business. Um, okay, there it is. You know what? I went way up. So I saw the little emoji come on the top with your channel, with your channel name. Thank you again so much. Let's celebrate their first live stream. First super on live stream, and that's YouTube saying that. Slingshot, I think I got everybody that's here. Free, hashtag free, too, lovely. Heather Miller, you're welcome, sister. Let's see, Trish Petit, Trish, 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 Trish Petit from Nova Scotia, Canada. Cool. Anyways. I think I'm going to run to, I, you know, I've got you on the wrong thing. Oh, there he is. That's a female and that's a male. These are both hooded Orioles. These birds have not left. And these birds are all starting to nest. It takes them a couple weeks to build a nest, the Orioles. 
Here comes another one. And then they're going to have babies. Then they're going to have babies again. The babies come. Oh, the babies are a blast. The babies will come here and they will investigate the entire deck. They'll be on the ground running around. They go into the plants. Any new water feeder that goes, a water feature that goes out, they have to get into it. They're the ones that go into the K-cups when I make the K-cup water fountains. And they try to squeeze inside and then everybody feels bad. Why don't you make it bigger? Well, they're not supposed to be trying to take a bath in a K-cup. They're so funny. But uh, we have a lot of hoodeds, and then we also have the bullocks, and they've been here all morning. But those bulls on the bottom are really cool. So that's it. And now I'm just sitting here having a cup of coffee when you are all supposed to be watching the eclipse. That's it. It should be over now. They said it was going to end. Let's see. I had the numbers. 10.20 was the start. A.M. 11.12. Actually, we may not be totally out of it. 11.12 was the peak, which we were only about a third into it, if that, as far as it got a little dark. And I think it ends at 12, 12.20 or something completely. So it must be still going on. I can, I can check it, see, Gary's thing, see if I see anything. Oh, no, it's still going on. Yeah, it is still going on. So we're still in it, but this is it. We didn't go dark. We just kind of went more like a light cloudy day. Robert Cooney, thank you so much. $1.99, you really don't have to. I know you're, you're going through a lot and I appreciate all your comments all the time and I want you to feel good. I'm not sure if you're here for gardening or for hummingbirds or just because, but no matter what, you know, you take care of yourself because it's important to kind of be as uplifting as you can, because I do feel that really does help our health. Believe you me, I know. If I feel down, and there's a lot of times I feel down, you can really feel the difference. And then when you feel better, you're happier, you, you, your body feels different. So really try to feel good. Heather Miller, uh, okay, I say hello to you. Bernice Conrad, where do you order your sugar? I have been going, well, I get my sugar from Walmart or Sam's Club. Lately, I've been getting it from Walmart, and it can be either cane sugar or beet sugar. It doesn't matter because it all is really the same. It's sucrose. But I've been getting cane sugar. It's, gee, I can't remember the name of the company. I'll have to, maybe I'll do a video on that. Offhand, I can't remember. I'm getting it from Walmart, and it's $7.00. I'm going to say, let's say under $8, and it's being shipped in from Texas. Though they have lost my order twice. They didn't lose it, but they lost it. I ordered it, and they said the bags in the box busted, and there was sugar, and they couldn't deliver it. So I reordered. Then it happened again, but I just got two orders. And I don't know why it's cheaper, because Walmart went up. It went up about 50 cents to a dollar. So I just ordered it on Walmart. They deliver it, so I don't have to go schlepping at home. Oh, you probably, and carrying it home. <laughs> Um, Hodad 3000, did I see an Oriole? Yes. Yes, and the hummingbirds don't like the Orioles. Now, the Orioles are not going to be sure why my camera is sticking over there, so they're going to be real cautious. But yes, we have a ton of Orioles. Let me get some coffee. <coughs> my throat is dry. Hmm. I feel like I've been talking all morning. I was talking to my granddaughter. Um see both oh you come in for both okay good good then we're gonna garden a whole lot you can do flower pots let's see um let's see ken brown watching from northern california hi oh hi ken uh bernice conrad i was told only cane sugar the brand name of sugar or can you do generic brand you can do generic brand as long as it is pure granulated sugar, that's all. Don't, no powdered sugar, no nothing. You can use either, and I do both. I do both cane and I do both. Uh, if it, let's put it this way. When you buy Walmart sugar, it doesn't tell you. And if it doesn't say, then it's made from sugar beet. It will be a beet sugar. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Some people prefer cane sugar. It won't make a difference that much because what it is, it's, sucrose it's been turned into sucrose you buy whichever you want and i have tested it i've got a video where i put it out to see if they liked one more than the other some of them kind of gravitated towards the 
cane sugar and some of them gravitated towards the uh, beet sugar, but it didn't matter. They liked both of them. Let me see if I can find it on my phone because I have my other phone here and I'll tell you the name of it. The one I've been getting if you have a Walmart order, a Walmart uh, account. It's just tough to get sometimes. It tells you they don't have it. Oh, okay, I should be able to get into it. And it's uh, extra fine sugar. Come on. I'm trying to get it to open up. Okay, my phone is acting up. Why is you doing this to me? Purchase history. There we go. Let's see, and I'm going to order more. Uh, here it is. Let me see if they still have it. It bounces back and forth. They do. It's $7.68. And it's called Imperial Sugar. You know, my mic might be too loud. If it's too loud, tell me, because it might be too close to me. Um, Imperial Sugar, Pure Cane, Granulated Sugar, and you can ship it in from Texas. And while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to buy it right now, because every time I mention something, I can't get it anymore. I'm going to buy four bags right now. And four bags comes out to $30. Yeah, $30.72. And I will place the order now. I have seen the same sugar go up to $15 for a 10-pound bag. It kind of jumps back and forth. So I, the, the birds like it, and that's the one I get. It's called Imperial Sugar. But CNH is good. It's gone up. It's all go Everything's going up. And we all know everything's going up. Uh, refreshed gray. Did the eclipse happen already? Yes, it's basically almost over. I think it's going to end like 1220. So it's not quite there, but we didn't get dark. We got dark like a light cloudy day is what we got. And that's all we did. And that's good enough. It got kind of quiet. The birds got quiet. They all disappeared. That's an Oriole coming in. These are hooded Orioles. That's a male. And then on the bottom drinking out of the bowl, is a pair of house finches. The male has got the red head and the female does not. This is not a good thing because they do drink a lot. I'll tell you what happened last year that a, a little male showed up. He was a baby. He was probably curious and he came to the deck and he looked around and he found the bowl I put out for the Orioles and he tasted it and he had a couple red flecks on his head. He came constantly after that. He likes the sugar water and then he disappeared. I didn't see him during the winter that much. And then this spring, he came back. Oh, that's a bullocks. Look at, look at the coloring. He's on the bowl. Aren't they beautiful? They have a lot of white on their back. Okay, he took off. I'm sitting out here, and they're a little more shy than the hummingbirds, so that's the other reason. They'll come in, he looks at me, and I'm like, what is she doing? But anyways, he came back, and he brought his girlfriend. And I'm telling you, this is no joke. Birds communicate to each other because he brought his, he, before he brought his girlfriend or told somebody, a bird came out, out here, one of the house finches, and I got a hawk. A hawk flying through here. Okay, he left. Interesting. No, he's coming back. Okay, hold on. I just want to make sure he keeps going. He is. Anyways, he's gone now. And... She came on the deck and was looking all over like you told me the bowl was here. I hadn't moved it. Where is it? And so she left and came back with him and he showed her where the bowl is. But this one brought his girlfriend. It was so cute. So now they come all day. Wonderful. Something else to drink. Sugar. Let's see. Uh, Bernice. Okay. Thank you. So you don't need to buy. You don't need to buy CNH. No. I, to be honest, I haven't bought CNH for a while. The only time I buy CNH now is if I go to Sam's Club and buy it in the 50-pound sacks. And I haven't done that for a while. Gary told me I still have two 50-pound sacks left, and we've been using the 10 pounds because it's easier to handle. So I'm, I'm good with sugar. Keep in mind, if you ever get a sugar on sale, it'll last for years. Sugar doesn't go bad. Um, the generic Walmart brand is really good enough. And if it wasn't, we wouldn't have thousands of hummingbirds. I've been using it for years. I used to buy Ralph's. That's how I started doing all the hummingbirds a lot when they had them for a dollar a bag. And I was buying them by, I'd go in there and buy 50 bags. They never stopped me when they have a sale at Christmas time. And those I know are uh, sugar beet, beet sugar. 
it's made from beets because if it doesn't say, it's not cane. And the other thing too is everybody worries about things being GMO'd. I know, I understand, but the problem is they don't talk about it. A lot of our cane sugar is now coming from out of the country, Brazil and different countries. And let me tell you something, if you look it up, Google it, they're already, those are, the cane sugar has been GMO'd as well. So you just don't know, it's fine. This is not their main food source. This is their supplement. Their main food source is nectar out of flowers, pollen out of flowers and plants, as well as insects. So I'll keep that in mind. I know somebody wrote to me yesterday, you shouldn't feed them. Nobody should be feeding them. Let them do nature. And I wrote back to him and said, if you're living in a house or an apartment, you've just taken nature's land. And this is why they don't have a lot. I mean, normally it would be just they forage everywhere and everything's got to be cleared for different reasons. So it doesn't hurt to help them. And if they don't want it, they, they'll go somewhere else. If they find enough, they'll go somewhere else. Um, Heather Miller, getting dark. Oh, it's getting dark in Illinois, but didn't get glasses. Seen eclipse last time. Can you share the best way to start a strawberry patch? You know, a lot of people get those towers, and if you're consistent enough to keep them well watered, you can get strawberries from them. But I have found that if you can get them in like a container, a tote or something, the plant will have more room to spread its roots, and you'll probably get more strawberries that way, like in flower pots, than in these separate towers, unless you have a super big tower. But really, any way, as long as you're going to water it well, you should be fine. Let's see. Bernice, thanks for the tip. Oh, we'll quit buying the name brand. Uh, wait, waiting my money, saving my money. Um, wasting, wasting my money. It's expensive. CNH went up a lot. Like I said, it, if there, there was a shortage at one point, so I started getting it from Sam's Club. I think it was during the pandemic even. At, even at the end of the pandemic, there was a shortage. So I ordered I ordered online from Sam's Club a bunch of sacks, and Gary ran down and picked it up. But we use some of those. We still have those, and now I just buy the 10-pound packages. I really like Walmart's 25-pound bags, and they do have cane sugar, but they won't sell it online. And when I go into the store, they rarely have it. And the one time I went in, they had it on the top shelf. I don't know who would want to put 25 pound sacks of sugar on the top shelf. And the top shelf was like seven feet in the air. So I decided not to try to drag it down, but somebody did get it down for me. They do have cane sugar, but they don't put it online anymore. Connie Davison, another branch. Hello, and a member. See, hi, Robin Gary. I've been outside watching the eclipse. Yes, don't waste your time with me. It was fun. We almost had a total here, but you could see a sliver at the top. Oh, cool. Yeah, we only lost a third, and it was more like, like it was um, a cloudy day. But it was different than a cloudy day because everything looked so green and bright as it got a little darker. It wasn't so glary. Let's see who's coming in right now. I see a bird coming in. I think we're going to have a Bullocks come in. Let's see, I'm still waiting. I saw him come by. Oh, yeah, it's a Bullocks. See, they don't, they call the other ones hooded. See, he's, he's got a black bib under his neck. He's bright, he's got more, he's a very clean looking bird. That's a Bullocks. And he's nesting somewhere because he's been hanging around. There's a female too. She's light. <clears throat> she comes in and she's really light colored. I am so crazy about these shade covers I make. The birds absolutely love being under them. I'm going to make them all over the place, different shade covers for them for this summer. Audrey Graves, cloudy here in Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Well, then it'll get darker, won't it? Wow. Uh, Heather, thanks for the tip. Red base, even on a cloudy day, I turn my eyes up towards the sun and <laughs> the music. The Orioles are nice, but I'll tell you, the hummingbirds do not like them. They're intimidating. And I've got to be careful when they nest. I haven't had any hummingbirds yet nest on the house. Maybe they'll wait till it gets hotter in the summer. I don't know. 
but you've got to make sure that the oriole feeders are not around because keep in mind orioles will rob the nests of a hummingbird so if i see a hummingbird nest somewhere and i've got a feeder near the hummingbird nest i'll move it because i don't want the orioles looking up and seeing a hummingbird's nest so they will eat their babies or their eggs sounds terrible but they will because they're kind of meat eaters too uh, Bernice, how do I make those covers if you don't mind? It's the covers I'm making are from a wire. I, I think it's a shelving you can buy at Dollar Tree. There's other ways of doing it. You could do it with a tote lid or anything. You could even do it with wood or a piece of wire you could get at the hardware store. But I was getting these shelvings and then I was covering it. I have a whole video on it. I would buy, I had a bunch, of, I didn't go out and buy them. I had a bunch of flags from the 99 cent store and I took the plastic and covered the wire and then I put the flag on top. So this way, if it rains, it doesn't rain down on the feeders. It works really good. But I do have a video on that. Oh, Robert, I will put BC. BC. Robbie, I will put BC in my messages for now on. Bob. I'm thinking, Robert, what is BC, British Columbia? <laughs> oh, they'll throw me. Okay, that will be good. I'll look for BC because what I look for right now when you do a message is it's got this, I don't know if you can see it, but what I see on my end is this weird thing like US, which is user E, and then it will go three, four, Y, zero, Q. It, it just gives you nothing. It's nothing. And at the end, I think yours is a two Y. And that's what I look for. Spencer, P-L-L, -L. Aloha! Um, where is Zoe? I don't know. There's somebody's phone ringing, not mine. So anyways, we're all sitting and wasting our time out here. And all you get to see are three feeders and I think one's almost empty. There must be something in there. Oh, before I go to the store, I've got to make a gallon of food, make sure there's a gallon of food available. I've got to make sure all the feeders are full or I panic when I'm out. But I think I'm going to head in a different direction. There's another Dollar Tree and I don't know what they're going to have. And I'm kind of looking for garden decor. I'm also looking for a tray. I found a tray at the 99 cent store that I think will make a really cool bird bath. Heather Miller, $2. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I would turn the camera around, but the camera is sitting about 10 feet from me and I don't want to disturb the birds, but I'll say goodbye and thank you afterwards. Thank you so much. You know it goes for sugar. Thank you so very much. Wait a minute, didn't you just give Heather? Oh, you did, that's the second time. Thank you. Oh my goodness, $5 and 10, Un unreal. Thank you, it's, it is appreciated and thank you. Uh, C-Y-N-S-I-M. From the Gulf, let's see. It's raining here, getting dark. Oh, you're gonna have 80%. Cool. Let's see, Patricia Day, love your channel. I think I'm gonna go in a few seconds. We should be out of the eclipse. Oh, here come the hummingbirds, more and more now. I want to go back to Dollar Tree and get another one of those bowls. They're easy to wash, and they're nice to put out, and unfortunately, the house finches love them, but so do the Orioles. The Orioles really like drinking out of a bowl. Roy Adam Howdy from Roman Forest, Texas. You had it there, I think, depending on where you are. Oh, Patricia, I saw everything. I'm in Joshua, Texas. Cool. Okay, now we've got more Orioles coming in. Sometimes they come in by the dozen. It's unreal. There'd be a dozen Orioles, sometimes more, sitting on the deck. And you're only looking at three feeders. I've got, what do I have out there right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's at least 10 feeders and probably Half of them have to be filled again. Washed and filled. Let's see, Spencer, PLL. Let's see, I just left the 99 cent store and my heart broke. The store is almost empty. 
We have a store here and they told me they're going to continue to stock and they may stay open until June. Now, let me give you some news that I've heard and we all just have to wait. I don't know what state you're in. I forgot you probably told me. Let's see. Um, did you tell me where you were? Hello? Oh, no, you're laughing. Um, okay. The ones in California, an investor, not he owns a company. He came in, and there's a good chance, we'll have to see, he is going to purchase all 143 stores, I believe there is, in California. He's not going to take the ones in Nevada or anywhere else or Texas, but he's going to buy the California stores, and he's going to put it back to the... His goal is, the write-up was, he wants to put it back to the original 99 cents stores. The original one that I believe his name is Dave Gold, I know his last name is Gold, started was he would get discounted items. And so you were getting high quality product for, for 99 cents. Here, here's an example. My dad used to work at a pickle company when I was real little called Green Valley in LA. And when my uncle closed it, my uncle made sure he got my dad a job because my dad worked for him since he was very young. And he got him a job, City of Industry, I think it was, at Durkee's. So my dad would tell me, oh, we missed packed and we had to call Big Lots. There was no 99, well, I think there was a 99 cent store, but they, they were going to Big Lots at the time or pick and save. If they run food and like he said, they'd be on the conveyor belts and they're running every, all the items and then all of a sudden they'd stop and they take a look at it, they pull a jar off and go, my dad would say, oh, well, maybe not like this. Oh, nuts. We packed this one with an orange cap. It was supposed to have a green cap. All of those would be get dumped. And I couldn't understand it. There's nothing wrong with it, but that's what they do. If the label goes on upside down, if the label doesn't go on straight, if they found out that something on the ingredients wasn't in the right spot, because the ingredients are supposed to be by percentage, and if the salt was towards the top and the salt was supposed to be marked towards the end, they can pull the whole lot and start over. So there's multiple reasons. And that's the kind of stuff that used to go to the 99 cent stores. So we'll see what happens, but we may end up with a 99 cent store. His goal is to let them run their course, empty out the stores. All the stores will be closed and he wants to have them opened in 90 days, which would look to be before the holidays, September. We'll see if that even happens. Okay, Red Base, it's definitely darker here now than it should be. <laughs> She's laughing. Um, and it's happening in California. 30% um, off the garden stuff, Spencer. Yes, and that's why I'm going back. I'm going to go look at the garden stuff. I'm going to go to a different store. And we've got a ton of them all over here if I wanted to drive, but I don't, I don't want to. I'm going to go to one other store and see what they've got. And then I'll probably go back to the one I went to the other day. What's behind me screaming? It must be a hummingbird. I don't know what that was. Um, I'm going to see if they get any more flower pots in that I want. I think I've really got everything I need. The Orioles are so pretty. It's just a shame that the hummingbirds are not happy with them. And they're going to be here until September. They are here to stay. And later on, probably in about a month and a half, two months, I would say two months, we'll have all the babies all over here. They're like clowns. They're hanging upside down. They're just looking all over in the windows. And they'll look like the females a little more drab. The majority of ours are the hoodeds, which are in there right now. They have a black, really thick black neck. They call them hoodeds because I guess their head is yellow. Where the bullocks has just a stripe, more like a mustache and then a like a goatee comes down. They're absolutely gorgeous birds. And once they have their babies, they love the bowls of nectar because they go into the gardens and they look for hornworms and they'll bring the hornworms to the nectar and they dip, it's so crazy. They dip the, um, the insects into the bowls and then they go back and feed their babies. Red base, your sky color is like a gray, I'm guessing you were gonna say. You're probably going to say, 
sky, the sky color here. Ugh. Is it ugh because you're trying to say gray? I wonder if, oh, the spell correct is amazing lately on the phone. And I don't mean in a good way. I've got a hummingbird that keeps coming in my head. That's what's going on. Oh, well, the eclipse is over. I'm going to go fill the feeder where the Oriole is. A little uh, slingshot, a little saucer with dinner. Yeah, what I do is I normally have a bowl and it's got a plastic kids pizza set in it. And then they, they drink between the, pizza, the slices of pizza. It's a pain to take in and wash that thing every day, but I do it. So I found this bowl. I thought I'll try this and see if they drink out of it. At first they didn't. They looked at it like, what the heck did she put out now? It only took them a few hours and then they started really going into it. Sky color here has changed from a uh, blue, bird blue, to a smoky blue. That's, that's a good, good way of putting it. That's how it got here. It was kind of a smoky, it would be more gray. It wasn't yellow. And every, the colors in the tree. Kisses, Robert Clooney. Looks like rain with no clouds. Yeah, that makes sense. Gary, you want to come out here? I'm going to sign off so I can get to the store and see what the 99 cent store has. And plus my phone is in my cameras in the sun, so it's going to get hot. Who knows how the battery is? They got to see some, oh no, more hummingbirds are coming in. I got to see hummingbirds and the Orioles. We had the bullocks here too, and the house finch, just the pair keeps coming in. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've got to do a lot of the feeders before I take off. The eclipse is still going on, right? It's going to go on across the United States for how long? Yeah, I think it's back in Cleveland. Cleveland's Niagara Falls. Niagara we had it darker here a few years ago. There was an eclipse that went through here. Darker than what we had this time. Yeah, well, I think it went through Oregon last time. Oregon it went through? Yeah, because it was darker. The birds got real quiet. This time we didn't get that. It was like, it was a good way that uh, I think Red Base put it. Kind of like a smoky, because it would be like a gray. And the colors were enhanced. The trees looked really nice. Everything looked really green. And it wasn't, there was no glare from the sun. And that was about it for today. See, Robbie, yes, you got it. I'm on vacation this week, so you for me. So, okay. Yeah, for me. You're on vacation and you're here with your ranch? I mean, this is relaxing. I'm just sitting here with a cup of coffee, watching them build that big yellow house on the hill for the past five years. That's unreal. Listening to the birds. Where's Zoe? Oh, <laughs> Zoe! Look at her. Yeah, no. she on foot? She's on your foot? She's on foot. your foot. She's resting her head. She, She's uh, using my foot as a pillow. <laughs> your foot is a pillow. And maybe I will put some more water bird baths by the feeders. I don't understand this year. Out of all these years, they would never use them. Maybe it's babies coming in and using them. And now they take a bath where the feeders are. But they also have the orange tree to dart into in a split second. Well, I'm watching my camera wave back and forth. We got windy. I'll try to go live more. Um, no way. It should be over by 3.30. How do you, is, is that a name, C-Y-N-S-I-M? Sin-Sim? Sin-Sim? Okay. So it's going to be over at 3.30 their time, but they're on the East Coast, so it's getting close. It's just so pretty. I really enjoy just sitting here. i, I got to get my rear together and start doing what I want to do on the deck. My squash is growing. I got a lot of stuff I want to do, and boy, did I get lazy. I took all those seeds and I planted them in a tote, but I'm just going to go dig them out. This way, they're already hardened and ready to go. 
as they call them, hardened off and ready to go. And I'll move them where I want. And in the meantime, I've got too many seeds in the house. Too many red cabbage. I haven't even planted a single one. There's another Oriole coming in. I'm not sure what. He's hanging around. He's going to come in in a minute and chase all the hummingbirds off. Hooded? Hooded. Don't move or he'll leave. Don't move. He, he's not sure why there's a camera there and then why am I sitting here? It's such a pretty day. Oh, Robert's saying hi to you. Oh, hi, hi Robert. Yeah, I should go. Because I gotta go down the hill and drive by all these schools and I wanna go back and forth before the schools let out because they park all over the street, they block traffic, because there's no place to park. And you don't want to be in that area when the kids get out of school. There's a female in the tree, she's thinking of coming in. Or is that a young male? There's a young male. Okay, that, that's a young male. I'm not sure if those are young males or Duluths. The coloring is different. Boy, the orange tree, the orange blossoms smell so good. Look at that, my plan from 30 years ago, over 30 years ago, has paid off. Look how long I had to wait. I didn't have to wait 30 years. It's been doing it for quite a few years, but my plan was out the kitchen window to plant, how many trees are there? Three? Three. Okay, so I planted four. I think one tree died. And I planted them close together and I wanted them to go into full bloom out the kitchen window so the breeze would bring in the orange scent and it works. I lost one tree but there's a Valencia there and there's a navel orange there and I can't remember there might be another Valencia I'm not sure and it worked and the hummingbirds absolutely love it. Oh my god! Rachel Hart $20? Oh my gosh Rachel thank you so much what a surprise. Unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks, Rachel. Oh my gosh, Rachel. Believe you me, it's going for sugar. While I was sitting here talking to you all, I bought some more sugar to make sure before it sells out. Look, they're going to the pizza tray now. They can't see the pizza tray. I'll try to go live out the kitchen window so they can see all the feeders. Right now, it's only put on three feeders and one's almost empty. Oh, Rachel, thank you so much. Um, Audrey Graves, I've seen on Facebook the five gallon buckets are four dollars something at Walmart. Four dollars four do for something. I haven't bought any yet. I hope they are number five. They are. The it's funny, my granddaughter and I were talking about that this morning. The buckets at Walmart, when I've gone inside, haven't gone inside for a while. They tend to sell yellow, white, or blue, and I throw in the blue and the white. I think I do have a yellow. And they are number fives or number twos. Either one is fine. You can grow in, there, there hasn't been any number threes. Those are the ones you worry about because that can be made from plastic. Like it may have had glue or, or some toxins in it. You don't grow in three. You rarely see three, but those should be perfectly fine. So you're looking for a two or a five on a bucket. A hundred likes almost? Oh wow, I didn't even notice. I haven't even looked. That's KC4747. Let's see, definitely still on the dark side. Red base is saying, watching the shadow, LOL. Let's see, um, my one room is usually filled with rainbows. Let's see, this time of the day, not right now. <laughs> the Orioles are screaming, go away, go away. Well, good, the hummingbirds are happy. And now there's nobody there, a couple hummingbirds. They feed so heavy at night. Now, when you have a beautiful day like today, and my, we've got the orange trees are all full of blossoms, they're going to get a lot of nectar out of that. Oh, no. Mary Kerr. Just oh, my God. I didn't see it. I was looking up Mary Kerr, 1999. Thank you, Mary, so much. And they're both members. Rachel Hart's a member and Mary Kerr's a member. Thank you so, so very much. 
Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, Mary, and thank you, Rachel, again. We also had earlier, we had Heather Miller, $2, twice, $5 and $2, and Robert Clooney, who should be take, saving his money and taking care of himself, $1.99. Thank you so much. It's just such a pretty day. I could sit here all day. I really need to get the video together on the, um, on the clothes rack because I absolutely love the clothes rack. I think I bought like five of them already. I bought so many of them. Oh my gosh, I love them. I can hang water features off of them. I can hang plants on them. They should use them in the house too. That's okay, Robert. I wish I could be a member. Don't worry about it. Red Base, thank you so much. It's just such a pretty peaceful day. I would bore you to death if I turned the camera on when I'm working and just leave it and let you see that. I'm pretty sure you would get bored just watching the birds because there's times I've thought about it and I thought, oh, I can't do this to you guys. Why am I not working? Why? Because I had planned to go to the 99 cent store. So you got a weed. Is he weed whacking again? Yeah, he's weed whacking. He's, they're home? Yeah, they're home. Oh, I'm going to call her. I want to bring her over some California poppies. I'm not going to try to do a time lapse again. I just got some California poppies. Oh, I got to be able to watch a poppy this morning unwind and pop. And that was beautiful. I don't know if I got it on my camera or not, but I tried. Not good enough. Kind of a half a job, but I may have gotten it. I don't think I'm going to walk over. If I walk over there, I'll spend an hour and then I'll never get out of here. So I think I'll just go to the 99 cent store and do that. So we're, we're done. Let's see, uh, 1220, I think it said we're going to be done. Is the Oriole going to come in again? He's kind of coming around. See, they're all sitting in the trees. You, I don't know if you can see them in the trees, but they come in and they're just not sure. Notice the, the ravens got quiet. I just, no, when the eclipse was going on, they were in the sky screaming and screaming. I have it on recorded. They were screaming and like they could tell something was going on. Are you doing stuff today too? Yeah, I've already been doing stuff. I should go say goodbye and go do stuff. I want to go to the 99 cent store and that's basically it. I went to the nursery. They didn't really have much yet that I want yet. Okay, hang on. I think I've got a question there. How often? Uh, oh, Gary, how often should I water my dragon fruit cuttings? It has a few roots already. Okay. If, it, if you've got it in soil, I would keep the soil moist. And I, I just try, once it starts rooting, I just try to keep it, the soil moist. Once it's fully rooted, then I kind of, it doesn't matter as much, I can let it dry out a bit. But while it's getting its roots, I, I generally keep it moist. It's such a beautiful day. Is that him? That's not him. Okay. See, Spencer PLL? Uh, yeah, I have it in it. In a, oh, the two, two cups. cups I was just going to okay, ask if that would. Yeah, the two cups. Okay, yeah, I would keep water in the bottom cup. Just so, a little bit. Just a little bit so it'll wick up into the second cup. And that sounds perfect. That's kind of how I've got a lot of my smaller dragon fruit set up. So I've got a, a soil wicking from the base. That's basically so they never completely dry out. Yeah. Let's see, Mary uh, Kerr, yeah. Robin Gary, thank you for all you do for the birds, the hummers, the flowers, and all the education. Bless you both. Thank you so much.
I really do enjoy it. Heather White, hi Robbie and Gary, a hummingbird finally came for the first time to our feeder in Austin, Texas today. So exciting, I love it. Let's see, made sure to use the quarter cup of sugar and one cup of water ratio, perfect. Let's see, KC4740, any owls near your place? Had a western screech owl on my roof last night for the first time. I haven't heard the owls, but they're supposed to have a nest across the hill. Yeah, I've, I've seen the great horns, which we, our neighbors were telling us that they might have a nest in their property, of the great horns. The screech owls kind of come and go. Uh, I haven't heard any for a while, but over winter you would hear them off, off and on. So they may have moved on and they may be nesting somewhere now. Screech owls like hollows to nest in, and we don't have a lot of hollows up here. You know what I haven't seen lately? I just thought I made the woodpeckers. We had a ton of them, and now I haven't seen any. Have you? No, I haven't all seen any. All of a sudden, now, like a month ago, they were all over the place. I wonder if they couldn't find any place to nest here. We've got another neighbor, Crystal. Uh, they nest in her yard. Which ones? The, what? what? Uh, one of the woodpeckers. Oh, okay. I'm not sure which species it is. I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see, I'm a son. Let's see, Colleen. Guess? Guesser? Guess? Not guesser, there's no R. Let's see, I'm a sugar gazer. I'm a sun gazer, and I looked at the sun for a bit. But I have a sunspot now. Oh, that's not good. They said the only time you could look is if you were in a total eclipse. If you're in the total eclipse, they said you can look at it. But after that, no. You know what you do? I think I showed you in the beginning. You could take a piece of paper and you make a perfectly round hole. It can be with a soldering iron. It could be with a knitting needle. If you have a hole punch, that's better. Believe it or not, I couldn't find the hole punch. And then you let it shine through and I could see it on the ground. It was really cool. It looked like a crescent moon. Uh, Ruby Garnet Rose, love Gary's accent. Where is he from? Love all the hummingbirds. They are so beautiful. Gee, Gary, where are you from? <laughs> Originally from southeastern Australia. Texas. Colleen was in Texas. Oh, yeah. Rest your eyes. Go get a washcloth and run it under some cool water and just wring it out and pat your eyes or put it on your eyes and let your eyes rest. The Orioles are trying to come in now. They're, they're saying, okay, I'm sick of her. She's going to sit there. I'm just going to come in. I'm sure the hummingbirds like when I'm out here and I block them. They're not crazy about the Orioles. You know, I had to look it up this morning to rem remind myself when I, I experienced a, uh, a to full total eclipse, and that would have been in 1976. So that was, that was something different. The, I rem remember... I, I was trying to remember back, I must have been with one of my friends and something I noticed was the birds started to sing when, when it got totally dark. And it's kind of like, there's a lot, of, lot more birds in Australia, especially where I'm from, than there are here. I mean, the place is loaded with them and there's a lot of birds that have got nice songs. So when it got totally dark, or it got started to get dark, they started singing like they would do late in the evening. Yeah, the only thing I noticed here, because we didn't get that dark, was all the ravens started screaming. Did you see them earlier and flying? They must have, that's the only thing here, but you were in darkness? You yeah, were... I was in darkness. I was trying to remember, there was a partial in 70, I think, 73, 74, and I have memories of that, and I, I had the memories back then confused. I thought it was total darkness then because I was in school in 74, but on, but in, what, what year did I say, 70, I forgot the year. The second time when it was total darkness, 
it was on a Saturday and I had the two memories mixed because it's a few years ago now. Trial and error said hi Gary. Let's see, uh, rambling mountain rose, total clouds here. Oh. Um, rambling mountain rose said hello. You know, I'm trying to get up to leave and it's like, this is really nice. I told you I want to start eating outside. We got the bird garden fixed up almost. I want to get that really cool, uh, really nice with a lot of flowers. And then I want to start eating out on the deck. I want it to warm up. <laughs> it's still been like 40 degrees at night. It gets so cold. I'm in two shirts right now. I don't even know what the temperature is. Well, not as cold as it was this morning when I was having coffee, but wow. And this is a good shot. Unfortunately, there's only three feeders here. But you can see close up the birds. Oh, wow. Miss Alex M. Hi from Michigan. Just witnessed eclipse at 99% total. Totally. Wow. That would be something to see one day. It's just so pretty out here. The sky is blue. There's a slight breeze in the air. You can smell all the orange blossoms. The hummingbirds should be foraging among all the orange blossoms, which they do. They do. But they come in here to get a drink, too. There's so many birds, and they've decided for some reason this year to so far to park themselves here. Because they've got all the food they want. We've got more and more flowers. Gary's got his garden down below right here. Then we've got the bird garden and the vegetables are going to start. So they're going to pick out little insects in there. And pollen. Nectar they get from uh, salvia plants. And kufia plants. Citrus trees they get a lot of nectar from. And then pollen they can get from a lot of different flowers. Rambling Mountain Rose, we are 49 degrees right now. Yeah, I think we're actually warmer. I'm going to guess we're about 55, 58. That's my guess. You can't go by that thermometer. I don't think it works. It might be close to 60. I'm trying to see what birds are sitting. I think those are house finches coming in. Yep, they left. Oh, well, if you want to get back to work and I should run to the store, it's going to be 1 o'clock soon. Uh, if I missed anybody, I didn't mean to. But again, I want to thank Mary Kerr, 1999. That's unreal. Thank you so much for the, I guess they call it Super Chat. Uh, Rachel Hart, thank you for the $20. Heather Miller, that was uh, $7 today. Thank you so much, Robert Clooney, who has promised to take care of himself. And he watches us. He's had heart attacks and strokes. My goodness, you have to stay strong and garden something. Really, I'll tell you something, Robert. I, the food from the grocery store, though, we need it and we can't go 100%. If you can get something growing, you get nutrients out of the smallest amount of something you grew over something you bought at the store. So even if you just add in parsley or walking onions or green onions or anything anything uh it it will make a world of difference and that's important i want to thank you all so much colleen is it guys or guests how would you say that g-i-e-s-e -E. Guys. guys it would be guys epic video this is so high energy <laughs> oh epic i feel like we're just laid back doing nothing here comes colleen just Davis, $10. I must have pronounced her name right. <laughs> Colleen, thank you so much. I get everybody's name bad. Don't worry about it. I do, I do that all the time. Oh, Colleen, thank you so much. $10. That's unreal. This is so appreciative. It goes for hummingbird food. I'll probably go order some more sugar from Texas off of Walmart. Oh, we're getting windy again. What do you see, Zoe? Look at, look at her. 
When here she sees a lizard. She's walking around, looking I around. Actually, calling Geezy. Geezy. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I didn't get it right. <laughs> Geezy. Right. Okay. I before E except C. So that would be. See, I'm going the way I learned in grammar school. If the if there's a vowel in front, then it makes the other one loud, which would make it I. See, and you can't go by that. <laughs> it's all no. wrong. Especially when this could be a Swiss last name or you know that part of the Europe or whatever. Gazy, okay, minus sixty below. What? Red base. Sixty below zero. Burr. Who was that? Somebody is that cold? I missed that. No, I think Robert said something about. Uh, let's see. You guys don't know. You guys have no idea about cold temperatures. No, I don't, Robert. I, I don't. I'm of Southern California, born and raised in Los Angeles when I was a kid, you know, and it was never that cold. But to me, 50 degrees is cold. Yeah. And the coldest place I've been to was um, Vancouver, British Columbia. And when Gary. And that's the warm part of Canada. Oh, uh, well, I remember when Gary first came out here, and you'd go, we'd go somewhere, and you were just out here, and you'd go, why is all the street people, or whatever construction was going, closing up? Why are they closing everything up and they're not working? I said, because it's raining. And they'll, they'll say, but it's barely drizzling, it stopped already, it doesn't matter. The moment the sky drops, a few drops out of the sky, they stop working. And you've never seen anything like that, you said, remember? Yeah, I, because where I'm from, you just keep working because... You know, if it's not going to stop raining... It's German. It's German, okay. okay. Which could be Swiss. That's true. Yeah. German, okay. okay. German. Yeah, where Gary's from, it rains all the time. Otherwise, you, it, off and on, at that time when you lived there, there would be no work going on. Yeah. <laughs> um, MLLE Jess, do you recognize specific hummingbirds that are regulars? If so, how can you tell? Okay, so you're not talking about the types. Yes, you do on certain ones, especially like the one that nested in my window for three years, on my window. They act different. They come up to you. They look at you. They try to land on you. They, they have different behaviors. You can recognize them by the behavior. And that's basically all I can say. We've got five species here throughout the year. Um, most of the time we have at least three or four. But you can recognize birds, especially the ones that were born and raised here. Okay. And particularly if you have them nest, they'll return to, generally in our yard, they tend to return to a similar location each year. So right now I've got one that's got babies in my garden, and she's had babies last year too. So she kind of recognizes me and lets, she's a little leery of me, but once they recognize you, they, they become comfortable with you being around them. Ken Brown, another YouTuber says, if you leave carrots in the ground for two seasons that are very, they are very sweet when you harvest them. Have you ever heard of this? No. That I don't know. I, I'm just going to say, no, I have never heard of this. Because usually if I leave any of my carrots for the second season, all they really do is get woody. Or, and they go to seed. So I don't know what kind of carrots they're growing. I don't know what area they're in. So I can't say yes or no on that. For me, my personal experience, no, it wouldn't work that way. I have left the, um, how do you pronounce those small carrots? Parisium. Parisium. I left the parisium. They got woody. Um, when I, they're, they're, to me, they, I mean, you would think the younger, the sweeter. Oranges are different on citrus trees. You, the longer you leave them, the sweeter they get. But for vegetables, if you leave beets in the ground, they get woody. In other words, you eat them and they're kind of dry or harder. Um, how it, they're woody. They call them woody. It, it's, yeah, they get, I've never they heard get of that. Woody. I don't know what kind of carrots. In, in our climate, they definitely get woody. Yeah, and then usually the second year, if you leave them, they'll go to seed. So I don't know. You try it. I'm not. Because you think about it, the younger the carrot, you wouldn't want to pull them when they first start growing. 
But the younger the carrot, the sweeter they are. You know how baby carrots are? People want to buy baby carrots because they're sweeter and nicer to eat. Of course, the baby carrots we get in the grocery store, most of them are not truly baby carrots. They go through a machine and they cut them and they make them look like baby carrots. But true baby carrots are more expensive and they're sweeter, kind of like even if you harvest your potatoes when they're smaller. They're so good, the skin and all you eat them. So I, I've never heard of this. That's all I can say. I'm not going to say they're wrong. People do things in different ways, but I'm going to say I've never heard of this. Uh, Roberts were originally from Buffalo, New York. Yeah, so he would experience like effect. Uh, it's like effect snow because it, it's, I'm trying to think of it. I don't know of a colder place in the southern United States. Rambling. Can we be friends? I guess he's talking to somebody else. Uh, rambling. Great Falls is beautiful country. Can't wait to get back to North Idaho. Rambling. Okay, they're ta they're talking. Uh, to each rambling other. Mountain Rose is currently in near Sydney. Mm. Oh, in Australia. Sydney. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting a kick out of sitting here watching the Orioles from this angle come in. My, my little window bo uh, flower box looks good. Those plants were really tiny. Some of, most of them are cuttings I put in there and they're taken off. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those two cups. I'm using those two red cups that are in the window box as a layering effect. So I water the cups to keep water in the window box. And it's really stupid because the things that are growing in those two red cups are apple trees. Okay, no, that's Montana. Oh, Montana, okay. okay. So there's a Sydney in Montana. I did not know that. Oh, interesting. Um, Colleen drives slow. A lot of butterfly moths being came out today here in Wisconsin. I guess because of the darkness, moths came out? And it got dark? I wonder if that I would trigger know. that. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with those moths. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm going to go shush the birds away and go get my phone in a minute, which is sitting in the sun, and say goodbye. And thank you so much again, Colleen, for the $10, and Mary Kerr, 1999, Rachel Hart. $20, thank you. Heather Miller for the two and the five, and Robert Clooney, thank you so much. Somebody's dinging me. Let me take a look and see who so desperately needs something. Oh no, just everybody's saying that they're watching. It's my family, they're all watching the uh, eclipse. I don't, I don't even know. I guess they're... Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to take a look at that. All right. Well, we did the eclipse. And nothing happened. It's getting lighter. Okay. Um, S-Y-N. How do you say that again? Sim, 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 sim? Sim, sim. Sim, sim. I know I'm probably getting it wrong. It's getting lighter. Oh, good. So they're, getting, they're coming out of the eclipse. Oh, red base, what a fun day. You sure I didn't bore you, Red? Because I so many times I'm just going to sit out here and have a cup of coffee and, or ice uh, tea, chocolate mint tea, and I think, oh, if I turn on the camera, I'm going to bore everybody. Looks like it will be over soon, Slingshot, in Virginia. I, like I said, I was watching it on TV, and they were in Mexico, right? Where we were watching it, it went total, total black. And people put their cell phones up, and you could see the light on their cell phones. They were holding it up, and the whole area was pitch black. Amazing to see. Oh, I have an Oriole right next to me now at this gator. Well, maybe I'll go to Dollar Tree and pick up one or two of those bowls. You know those gray bowls? I'm hoping you can see it on the bottom. You can buy them online. I think they're like $15. Don't quote me on that. Something like that. And here they've got them at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And they work out really good for me to put nectar out. 
wash them up, put them back outside, and that, again, it was supposed to help keep the Orioles out of the feeder. It doesn't work. But it did bring in the house benches, who have happily been sitting on top of some of the feeders trying to figure out. They don't have the tongue. The Orioles got a long tongue tongue like the hummingbird the house benches do not but what they do is they get on the feeder and if it's full enough they swing it and they try to catch it as it swings to their side but they're happier with a bowl which keeps them off of that rambling mountain rose robbie never get bored listening to you that's what you say and red base the same thing all right i'm going to walk over there and get my camera i'm going to put this down so i'm not going to be able to see much i'm going to say goodbye I didn't even drink my coffee. I never do. All right. Hopefully I'll get my deck done soon. I'm sunny today. Hopefully I'll get my deck done soon. See, they got the hummingbird feeders behind me. I don't know if you can see that here. Hey, little guys. You got the Rufus there. I don't know what you can see. I can't see. It, the sun is glaring. So anyways... This is the bowl that's really cool. See? They sell this at, oh, they drank it up. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. They drank it up. What I could do if I wanted to is just, it really needs to be washed, but thank goodness it's just a house finch is feeding out of it. But I bring it in. Every time I go to change a feeder, I bring it in, I give it a wash. I may not disinfect it, because, but I'll give it a good wash with a toothbrush and if it looks like it needs anything else. What do you see, Zoe? What do you see? And see, there's the orange tree and it is just full of blossoms. And there's the ravens flying around. You can hear them, but that was my goal because there's the kitchen window, see? You know, I don't think you can see this. Let me see if I can grab this, hold on. I'm gonna grab this. All right, if I can fix my tripod better. You know, I can't see with the glare. There's the kitchen window, and that was my goal. I planted four trees. You can see one there, one there, and there's one way down there. There was one more in the middle, and I thought if those trees will grow, I would be able to smell the orange blossoms in the window, and it worked. It worked really nice. So that's what's going on there. This has been amazing. They come here and take a bath all day. I'm gonna get a flower pot. This is not a flower pot. This is a food container with no holes and it sits there. I'm gonna get a bigger flower pot with no holes. That's what I want to I want to look for today. Let me fix that up. And then I can sit the flower pot in there with a plant and it just will look really nice. This is some sort of um, busboy tray. And then this is the hat I got at the thrift store. And then I just made a fountain out of it. It's like nothing with nothing. And that's just the glass with a plant in it. Isn't that cool? And then these you can get at Dollar Tree. They sell them for $1.25. They're cup caddies. Like if you were at a picnic or something, you wanted to carry and put those red cups in there and you can carry six drinks in there. I planted in there. Got some cuttings going on the other side. These are cuttings, these are kufias, these are hummingbirds lunch. Nothing more than cuttings, and they took. There's one there, one there, and one there. So that's really good. This is crazy. This is an apple tree. And this is strictly here. See how damp it is? You can see the roots from the other plants. Layering is so good when you're container gardening. I just sat that there because I did not want to kill the apple tree that came up in the compost. This is really stupid. <laughs> but it was like, oh, it's an apple tree. And then this one's got two apple trees. Same thing, you layer, see how wet it is? Let me move that. That's why I layer, because even though it's gonna be sunny and warmer today and things will dry, the top layer will be dry, when you layer and put pots there, it keeps things damp underneath. And that's why layering is so good. It makes gardening so much easier, look at this. This is what I got at the 99 cent store before they said they were going to close. And this is a type of salvia. A loud helicopter. I don't even know what kind of helicopter that is. What is that, military? Military helicopter. Yeah, it's not a sheriff's helicopter. Loud and big. Anyways, 
This is a soap container that's sitting there and it's got a little tiny, had a tiny walking onion in, still does. And then I just put that there. And these are flowers coming up, that's it. Yes, I just, I had to buy this. I love Columbine. Smells so good. And then I've got a deadhead, some of these. Cosmos, these are from the 99 cent store. This was from the 99 cent store. Look, at burst in the flowers. Look at all the new flowers developing in there. This one bleached out. I don't think it likes the sun. I may move it. It was a pinker color. See how it doesn't like the sun? Oh, it doesn't like the sun. That's interesting. Those must have more shade. Okay, we'll move you. We'll, we'll find the, because see how pink it is underneath? And here it's bleached out. It's not a happy plant. Now I gotta figure out where to put it. Cause this one's got more shade and this I just made. Oh, I love that. I made myself a video. If you really wanna see how to make it, write in the comments. I wanna see how to make this. This is a dot. And this is the solar light, and then this is silk flowers. I, the, the way it came out, it was so fast. I, I try to record as much as I can so I don't forget. And that's it. I haven't done much on the deck, but I am starting. You already know that I've planted this. This is doing really good. This is nothing more than compost in there. This plant should take off. It's already trying to grow. This is just to make sure no rodent or anything would bother it. It's doing good. I won't have to leave the tool on. Is that plant still alive? I haven't even looked at it today. Yes! Oh, good. You know what this is. This is all compost. That's the zucchini. Slingshot asked about the extra boards to stop the planters from falling out. Oh, well, you can tell him. Um, I've got a mic. No, I mean, it's... Yes, we did put extra boards up there for some of the planters. Yeah, you made them. Yeah, I made them. Yeah, because let's put it this way. <clears throat> He didn't trust having all these heavy planters sitting here, so he made the boards so it, there'd be less of a chance of it falling on its head as he walked by. It sits like a saddle. It lifts up. I don't know. It's got plants on it. I can't really show it, can I? I guess yeah. I can. Oh, there it is. So it's got a couple of two by fours attached to some plywood, and it just sits over like that. And as long as you don't get really strong wind, and there's enough weight on it, it's fairly stable. And that's it. I think I'm going to move this one into the bird garden and bring back a different one that I'm working on. I need to add water to that. And I love these. I went back to the nursery to see if they had any more, only because I don't want to butcher this plant yet. This is called Angel's Perfume, and it's a geranium. And when I bought it, it, just, it looked so bad. Uh, there was barely any leaves on it, it was all brown. They had two of them, and I thought five or, five or six dollars. And I asked them if he was gonna discount it, and they said no. So I brought it home, and all I did was put it in the new pot from the 99 cent store, and just put in leaves and different things on the bottom from around the deck, even like lettuce and different things growing, and then a little bit of potting soil. And look how beautiful, and it smells good. I just think it's so pretty. I mean, I can propagate all I want, but I didn't want to butcher it yet. So I went back the other day after I went to the 99 cent store and he told me he didn't have it anymore. He said he'll get more, but will he get the Angels? What is it called? Angels perfume? I really like that. Anyways, that's it. So now you've kind of gotten a, a glimpse of what I have not done on the deck. I'm getting ready to start planting a whole bunch of my tomato. I did that video, right? That's doing really good. This is the Travelers. I think I did the video. Look at that. We've got tomatoes starting there. Look at that. That I didn't do. I'm going to do that. I want to show you how I'm going to do that. It's not done yet. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. But that worked out really good. And this I'm going to do. And I haven't done that yet because I haven't done it. Whoops. All right. You want to wave goodbye? He's working on his phone. These are broccoli. I planted too many. I don't even know where I'm going to put them in paper cups. This is going to be fantastic because all I have to do is take, see how the cup is rotting away? That's actually perfect. I pop the bottom all out and I plant it just like that, right into a tote. I can plant it in some buckets up here, flower pots, anything. And then I water it from the top and I don't have to, it won't go into any transplant shock at all because it won't even know it's moved. 
And that's the helmet that we were watching it from. And that's it. Now, I, I never finish my coffee. I always make a cup of coffee. I rarely have coffee. All right, I'm going to let you say goodbye. Thank you for all the super thanks, everybody. I know I've thanked you. I'm going to let Gary sign you off, and then maybe I will run to the 99 cent store. So go for it. Just say goodbye. Don't do that. No, I, I won't do any sign language. Oh, no, no. I thought no, you were going to have a ritual. Oh, no. Um, yeah, well, thank, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the solar eclipse if you experienced it. Like a pedal eclipse. Oh, you know what? Sword. Hold on. I don't know. Oops, I grabbed that because I don't know if they can hear you. I forgot. What I did just lose is the other side. Oh, there you go. Jim, just hold it. I don't have a clip on. Hang on. Just... Is there a clip on that? Oh, there is no clip. Okay, good. Okay, I thought they had a magnet clip. It does So you can see why it is. Okay, well, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed it. And. Everyone have a good day, and if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to us and you're not a subscriber, you feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when we go live, hopefully, as long as YouTube sends the notifications out. I'm not sure what else to say. Okay, and yes, you can propagate fig trees just like you propagate a lot of different plants. And we've done that too. Somebody asked about fig trees. It's rolling by quick. So everybody have a wonderful day. We'll do this again. Um, I can't remember what I asked. Oh, if you wanted to really see how to make the dots. Now I see them. You probably can't see back there, but the Orioles are on the other side. I'm t loud enough. They can hear me. Okay. And I'm sure they can hear me. And that's it. And I, we really should be down here. Do you have anything else? No, that's it. Okay, so that's where I feed the birds. Here's another place where I feed the birds. I sometimes have a feeder there. I've got feeders now. I took a few down, but all over here, here, as you can see, like I said, right here. Those are empty. That's the problem. i got to go fill a bunch of feeders now. As you can see, they're all coming in now. So everybody have a great day. Thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful day. And I don't know if my brother was trying to say something, because he kept texting and texting. Yeah, I didn't see his name pop up. So. No, I didn't see his name pop up either, so I'm not sure. I, I got like 10 texts from him, but I'm not sure what that was all about. I think David was doing something, and I don't know if David was on YouTube or what. So my nephew's got a YouTube channel. I'm not sure if he was on YouTube or not. But anyways, everybody have a great day, and don't forget to eat it to grow. And we will be back very soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you to the wrenches. Thank you for the super chats. And thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.